Hey guys, uh, welcome to another video for Electric Unicycle and Gadget Review Show on the YouTube. As you can see, I have my bicycle light attached to my Kingsong 40D Electric Unicycle. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, first thing is to dismantle your bicycle light. Use a piece of paper to uh, visualize what it should be and then uh, choose a material which I've chosen is the acrylic. I've used a piece of paper to visualize what I want the mounting to be. So after I use the piece of paper to bend according to the, 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 the triangle that I want it and then I'll do the marking on the acrylic accordingly. So the width is like 3cm for Kingston 14D. The rest you have to do your own estimation and find out that triangle uh, what measurement you want and then just simply mark it up. Use an acrylic cutter and cut like 20 times per side of the acrylic and it should be very easy to snap it uh, apart. It's actually very simple. So I got this acrylic from Artfriend in Singapore. If you do not know where to get it, you can actually buy it online if you want to. The same thing goes to the acrylic cutter. Okay, do take note that my bicycle light have a hole at the back of this uh, bicycle light that is for the screw to screw in. But I realize not all bicycle light have that kind of mounting uh, option. That means some are screwed on the, at the side of this uh, bicycle light mounting uh, part. When you dismantle it, it might not be the same. So be aware of that. That will probably we have to find another solution to mount onto the, you know, the electric cycle but in the meantime mine have a hole to, to screw onto the acrylic that's how, that's why I drill a hole through the acrylic and use the drill bit to make the hole a bit larger uh, try not to drill the acrylic when the brown piece of paper is uh, already peeled off make sure the brown piece of paper that is uh, on this acrylic is still there before you drill after you peel off the brown piece of paper, you can use a pen or marker to mark up the, the lines where you want to bend the acrylic. And then uh, use a butane blowtorch or flame gun, which most of the chef in restaurant actually use to coat meat. Uh, I bought this online in Q10. You can buy it anywhere online. It's uh, relatively cheap, but make sure you wear a protective uh, glove for heat resistant, usually those cooking glove will, will do. And use the butane blowtorch to uh, heat up the, the lines that you have drawn where you want to bend and then just bend it. Okay, the reason why I use acrylic is because I can actually melt part of the acrylic and try to uh, mold the, the acrylic onto the electric recycle casing so that the contact surface of the acrylic is maximized and you, you do not have any gaps in between the acrylic and the casing so that if you put an uh, industrial strength double-sided 3M uh, foam tape uh, there will be no gaps in between the acrylic and the casing. After that, screw the bicycle light onto the acrylic and simply bend the part where you want to bend using the built-in blue torch and then bend it downwards accordingly. And after that, wait for it to cool down and then you should be able to mount this bicycle light onto the electric cycle using a 3M industrial strength double-sided foam tip, which is very, very strong. The next step, I use a Krylon Fusion for plastic glossy black spray to spray the acrylic. I've uh, put a, a toothpick and some foam to hold up the acrylic so that I can just spray on all sides in one go. After waiting for 15 minutes for the spray paint to dry, I peel off the double-sided foam tape and stick on the electric unicycle. Initially, I want to keep the acrylic in a triangle formation, but after I stick on the electric unicycle, I realized the laser light is not hitting the ground fully because bottom there's a DIY stand blocking the laser light. So I need to uh, raise up the acrylic slightly using the butane blow torch. Uh, currently, as you can see, part of the laser light is being obstructed by the DIY stand, which is not very optimum. Uh, currently, I just raise up a little bit of the acrylic and remove the center part of the styrofoam that I 
place inside this uh, thing so I just remove it and you can see that the acrylic is rising up in such a way that you know it's just nice for the laser light to hit the ground in a horizontal format and basically that's it on how I DIY the bicycle light mount for my electric unicycle which is a King Song 14D. I really like it a lot and hopefully you will too. If you have any questions, uh, comments, put in the comment section below. And basically that's it. Thank you very much and have a nice day. See ya. Bye-bye.